my name is Michelle and today I have another episode of my series of what I like to call American makeup that I found in home bargains for under £2. Last time I used Physicians Formula which was in home bargains for £1.49. Today I have Wet n Wild which was all 99p. Just to keep you guys updated by the way, I literally use the Physicians Formula foundation every day. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's actually too dark so I'm going to try to go back to Home Bargains and get a lighter shade. But yeah, so like the, the £1.49 foundation was so good. Okay, so of course, first we have the foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. And this is in the shade Light Slash Medium. This is the only shade that they had. This looks so dark. It keeps sticking to me. So I'm just going to squirt it straight into my face so you can see the cut. Mm. Whoops. I really do like this packaging, to be fair. Okay, so this is me with one I like layer of the foundation. It's pretty nice. I think it gives like a, a quite nice sheen. It's obviously not full coverage. I don't think the shade difference is too bad, to be honest. So I quite like this, to be honest. I don't really like too heavy foundation anyway. So they didn't have any powder, so the next thing I'm going to try is the Wet n Wild Bronzer. So this is it, it's quite shimmery. Can we see a difference? So next I'm going to try this blush, it's the Wet n Wild Colour Icon. I did just realise it's a quack, I didn't realise that when I bought it. Maybe that is part of the reason it was 99p. But yeah, this is in the shade Rose Champagne. It's nudey, kind of a bit orangey. Um, I don't usually go for this colour, but I'm always into trying new things, so I'm excited. It's definitely got a really pretty shimmer to it. I think that is like really pretty, very um, subtle. But yeah, I really like that. Next, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow. So this is Sweet As Candy. And I really like this because it seems like a really simple eye look. So I'm going to try it like it says. So it says to put this brown shade in the crease, this one below the eyebrow, and this one and the eyelid. So these are the colours inside. There is a bit of shimmer to them. I really like this pink shade, to be honest. So yeah, I'm putting the brown into the crease. Okay, now I'm going to put the pink onto the eyelid. This is like a pinky, a pinky purpley shade. I think that is really pretty to be honest. My eyes look so pretty right now. That's nice, that's nice. I picked up some of these glitters. So I got a bronze one, a white one and a pink one. The pink is called Groupie. The, the white one is called Bleached and the bronze one is called Brass. So this is just totally pressed glitter. I love glitter. I feel like I need a glitter glue. I actually don't have one, but I'm just gonna try put it on um, dry and see what happens. Personally, I am not a fan of this glitter. It's just random chunks of glitter everywhere. Um, that's fine. It was 99p. So I didn't pick up any eyebrow stuff. They did have this one clear eyebrow gel, but I didn't want that. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows with the benefit, precisely my brow pencil. This obviously wasn't 99p and it wasn't from Home Bargains and it's not wet and wild, but I just want to complete the look. Next up we have a mascara. So they had two there. They had a lengthening one and a volumizing one. I decided to get the volumizing one. So this is mega volume in the shade Very Black. Okay, so this is the mascara. It's nothing special really. You can tell it's cheap. Um, it took a lot of work to even get it to this length. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. So finally for lips, we have a few different options. The first thing I picked up was this gel lip liner. This is in the shade Think Flamingos. Then I picked up this lipstick, which is in the shade Pink Sugar. And then I picked up this lip gloss, which is red, and it's in the shade My Cherry Amour. So I really want to try the red one, but I feel like for the sake of the look, I'm going to try the others. And then I might wipe that off and put this on so you can see what this looks like. Looks like it's going to be pretty much my lip colour, to be honest. 
the formula is lovely it's so creamy so easy so this is just the lip liner sink from Rose. I'm gonna try this lipstick So this is it with the lipstick, it's a definitely a nude, but it's something a bit different, something that I don't own, so I quite like it. And I'm definitely going to try the red now. Since it is so nude, I'm tempted to just put the red right on top. I wanted it to be very red, but I feel like every time I move it about, it just goes a bit sheer. So this is the red lip gloss, like I said, it's not as bright red as I would have liked. Definitely doesn't match the packaging, but it's very glossy, obviously, so it's not too bad. So all in all, what do you guys think of this look? Personally, I preferred Physician's Formula. I left the house on Physician's Formula after my first time thinking it looked amazing. This stuff is definitely going to need a bit of work if I come back to it at all. My favourite thing was the, the eyeshadow trio. Um, I really liked how easy that was to use. The glitter looks alright from far away. But close up, it just looks like a child did it. And after all, it was only 99p, so I wasn't expecting a lot. But yeah, this is a full face of Wet n Wild makeup drugstore brand from America that I found for 99p for each product in Home Bargains. So if you want me to carry on the series, let me know. If you want to go out to Home Bargains and get yourself any of these products, let me know. And make sure you check out my last video about Physicians Formula that I found in Home Bargains as well. I'll leave that linked below. Okay. Cause you're fading out We've been hit before Tell me again just